It's often said employers do not want to hire young people, so we wanted to, to know how local employers view young people and whether they had any top tips that might help when it comes to all important interviews. Alicia, Alicia and Wako spoke to the local businesswoman, Dennis McGovern, Managing Director of D. Mac Childcare. What does your organisation do? We care for children from the age of 2 to 12, uh, from various schools within the Tameside area, offering a preschool service, a breakfast and after school club service and also a holiday club. What benefits are you getting when you take on an apprentice? I can mould them into the person that I want them to be by ensuring that they get the right training, the right support and the right guidance. What can young people gain from apprenticeships? Speaking from my experience, I have a young lady who started with me from leaving school at 16. She came on board as an apprentice and did her level two in childcare. She progressed to a level three. She's just completed her management certificate. She manages and runs one of the settings for me. And she is just unfortunately about to leave me, but to go and work on a cruise ship managing childcare settings. How can we get an apprenticeship? Companies advertise in job centres, locally in newspapers, um, or you can go to the apprenticeship scheme, which is on the internet. You can actually go to the National Apprenticeship Scheme. How many apprenticeships do you give each year, and which other organisation locally offer apprenticeship? I have three apprentices a year um, working for me. Um, I have just had three who have finished and I'm in the process of recruiting another three at the moment. Locally, within the industry that I'm in, um, there are a couple of nurseries who take on apprentices. Um, they don't usually end up in a full-time job. Um, which I believe is very wrong. They, they can use the experience and then they just let them go and take on another apprentice. And I think that's it's not very good practice. And plus you could be losing a really, really valuable member of staff. How do you support workers with disabilities? Um, well, I'm, uh, I have disabilities myself, so I completely understand the, the area of disability and how important it is to adjust any necessary arrangements to meet the needs. Uh, we're on an upstairs and a downstairs, so I've actually purchased a specific machine to carry wheelchairs around, <coughs> um, as well as working in a child's industry where we have children who are disabled as well. So it's very much about meeting people's needs and making the necessary adjustments. Have you worked with other people from outside the UK? I haven't, no. Um, I've never actually had anybody apply for any of my positions from outside of the UK, so I haven't had that experience. And would you like to have other people from outside the UK who, who came from other countries like Kenya and they don't have that experience of work? For me, when I'm looking for a new member of staff, it's not about experience, it's about personality. And it's about making sure that that person can fit an already existing team who the children are going to take to and, and like. What are the advantages and disadvantages of employing young people that don't have any experience? A disadvantage, obviously, is the training process takes longer. Uh, but the advantages to that are you can train them to your standards. What advice do you have for young people who are looking for work? Know the company that you're going to apply for a job for. If you get an interview and you turn up for that interview, look smart, be smart, nice clothes, presentable, know the company so that when they say to you, have you got any questions you'd like to ask? You can say, well, on your website or in the newspaper, I saw, and you can talk about anything. And then the person who is holding that interview knows that you've done a little bit of homework and you're actually showing an interest in that company. And that is one big area that I find people really do let themselves down on. And finally, what problems do you think are caused by youth unemployment? I don't think that's a pretty hefty statement and I don't necessarily think that youth unemployment causes problems. I think it's companies not necessarily helping and supporting those people who want to work. 
And I think the problem is companies understanding what they can do for youth and employment. And um, that's the end of our questions. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much.